Violence, the chaos that turned deadly on Wednesday, has prompted lawmakers on both the left and the right to call on the President of the United States to resign. And it's not just Congress. Organizations, including the Anti-Defamation League, are echoing that sentiment. The nonprofit, which works to combat bigotry here in the United States, released a statement that says in part, Wednesday will forever be remembered as one of the darkest days of American democracy, and it makes unambiguously clear President Trump is unfit for office and needs to be removed. Jonathan Greenblatt is the CEO and National Director of the ADL. He's joining us now. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us. I understand as someone who's watched the ADL closely over the years, this is the first time in your organization's more than 100-year history that it's actually called on a president of the United States to resign. Explain how you arrived at this decision. Well, well thank you for having me, and I'll just say... Last Wednesday was a disgrace and one of the darkest days our democracy has ever seen. And as you said, in over 100 years, we've seen presidents from the Democratic side and the Republican side that have done things we really have not agreed with, that have we really held strong views about. But as a 501c3, we cherish our status as a nonpartisan organization. But the sight of a president of the United States literally encouraging and egging on violence inciting militants who stormed the Capitol and literally via his Twitter account, cheering them on while they were assaulting police officers. And then you had this scene, this image of neo-Nazis, people with Camp Auschwitz shirts, of KKK enthusiasts, of white supremacists and right-wing extremists rampaging through the seat of our government, the temple of our democracy, and yet the president, not only could he not condemn them, he called them special people and told them, I love you. Well, Wolf, that was a bridge too far for the ADL and myself and my staff and my board. We all felt compelled that now is a time we need to think about what our, as we as a country can do. And a president who would literally incite sedition, who would sanction violence against our own democratic government, the ADL, we had to say something. And as you point out, Jonathan, uh, one of those rioters who actually stormed the Capitol, we got a picture, was wearing a sweatshirt that said Camp Auschwitz. Camp Auschwitz. Uh, that individual has now been identified. Uh, and there were others wearing neo-Nazi uh, uh, outfits as well, making all sorts of declarations, hatred of Jews, hatred of blacks, hatred of Muslims, uh, a lot of hatred that was going on. How concerned, Jonathan, are you that all that hatred uh, has been unleashed right now? And how much do you blame the president of the United States for promoting it? Well, what I would say to you is that this past Wednesday, it was a watershed moment for the white supremacist. It was a watershed moment for the white supremacist movement in the United States, Wolf. And this administration will always, in the ranks of history, be bookended from Charlottesville to Capitol Hill to explosions of white supremacist violence without any precedent in American history.